What's going on guys, my name is Dexteros, and uh, what you're about to watch is taken from my most recent live stream. Uh, it's myself and my friend Haley playing a game of the Yaug. 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 Anyway, however you want to say that, it's on screen. Uh, it's her first time playing, and it was my second time playing this game. Uh, it's, a, it's about half a game on this video, because if I were to upload the entire game... Uh, it would have been like 30 something minutes and I, th I think it was 30 minutes anyway but that's that's too long and I wanted to split it up into two and we have quite a few games so there will be more videos of this if you guys like it um, if you haven't seen this game before it's a text based uh, story and like your decisions in the during the game affect how it turns out and it's it's quite it's quite an adventure I really liked it uh, and I hope you guys will too uh, anyway Thank you guys for watching, and I will see all of you dudes next time. That's Jacksepticeye. Eh, whatever, I'm leaving it in. Yeah, I'll be here in six weeks, and no one expects it's not one of us. Just keep on living our lives while we go uh, unaware. Alright, so who are we first? We're Purple Chick. Um, we'll go to the Alchemy Tower. We're gonna brew a potion. Haley. I want, I want to do something, actually. What? I want to do something. You're going to be two okay. of these characters. Oh, I'm excited. Y you're going to tell me what to do on two of them. Uh, I'm going to be the purple chick okay. since I already selected Archimede Tower. Uh, you spend the week okay. experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, an artif... Artif... An artificer? I don't know what that means. Stops by for a visit. She is adored with magic get adorned with the magic gadgets and gizmos and followed everywhere everywhere by her clockwork spider. Uh the Archimist I have a question. What? Can I be the two really hot people? Which one are the two really hot people? The red one and the orange one. Not okay. not the big burly guy. The other one. I guess so. Uh the Alchemist uh, of the tower go go out of their way to impress the artificer oh, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. As she's leaving, she adorns the most charming of the alchemists with a special trinket. The fact that she didn't choose you was a very humbling experience. You gained one charm. Alright, so Burly Guy next and he's gonna go to the arena and he's gonna compete in a fight. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. During a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it, des it destroys the knee of a nearby bystander. He accuses you of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. He takes you to court. Defend yourself. You object, but you can't seem to convince the judge. He rules in the plaintiff's favor and orders you to reform community service. You gain one ph physique and one finesse. Uh, unfortunately... The boring test takes a toll on you mentally. You lose one mind. Alright, Haley, it's your turn. You can go to the forest, the garden, the palace, the tavern, hospital, or slums. This is for uh, Red Chick. Uh, Red Chick, okay. Then I'm gonna go to the gardens. Gardens? Okay. Would you like to landscape or meditate? Uh, meditate. Meditate, alright. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. One day you come across an elderly man snoozing on the grass. You there, young person, he says. He waves you over. I'm having an awful time trying to take a nap in the bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? Would you like to block the sun for the old man or decline? Block the sun. Ages seem to pass as you stand in the hot sun as the wizened... Wizened? Wizened? I don't know. Old, the old dude sleeps peacefully in the sh in your shadow. The sun is sweltering. After some f hours, you begin to feel faint. Gradually, everything grows dark. When you awake, it's evening in the garden. And the ancient gnarled tree stands where the old man was sleeping. For witnessing this miraculous event, you gain one magic. All right, orange dude, you can go to the forest, palace, tavern, hospital, or slums. Uh, hospital. Hospital. Would you like to clean up or tend to patients? Tend. Spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two magic or two mind and one wealth. 
One day, a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced with piano notes, notes will not stop talking. <laughs> All the other patients are complaining that his voice is making the hospital even more depressing. The doctors have, contrived, they have tried to convince him to stop talking, but to no avail. Try to decipher what he's saying or sing with him. Hmm. Sing with him. You start singing. You start trying to sing along with his voice. You try to sing along with him, but just can't hit the right notes. The sounds get progressively okay. sadder and sadder. It starts driving you slightly <laughs> mad. You lose one mind. Damn. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, What's your piano, dude? <laughs> they say the last time it came, the Og devoured houses whole, stole lives, and tore family and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. Alright, my turn. I'm gonna stay in the Alchemy Tower with Purple Chick, and I'm going to clean the lab. You spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You're paid one wealth for your labor and gain one physique and one magic. One day, while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potion for out for a while. Soon after it leaves, the potion begins bumbling out of control. You don't... If you don't do something, it'll explode. I'm going to drink it. <laughs> you quickly drink the potion. <laughs> your stomach can't sam se yeah, your, your stomach can't seem to handle the potion. Fire erupts from your esophagus for a solid minute. You're shooting a jet of fire between your lips and your mouth. Ha! <laughs> that burns. You lose two physique. <laughs> Damn it. What a learning experience, though. You gain one mind. All right, with this guy, I'm gonna go to the tavern. I'm gonna go to bar training. Spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. Uh, you earn one wealth in tips and gain two charm. One day, the tavern throws its annual dart tournament. I'm going to enter. Uh, you sign up for the dart tournament, ready to prove your dart throwing prowess. Play a decent game of darts. <laughs> I just did the exact same thing as I did last time. I came to third again. You gain one wealth. All right, uh, your turn, red lady. Okay, Red Lady is gonna go to uh, the palace. Palace? Would you like to mm -hmm. do administration work or attend a ball? Attend a ball. Okay. Oh, whoops, I accidentally... oh, I accidentally pressed do administration work. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we're doing was... administration work then. <laughs> you spend the week doing <laughs> paperwork for the palace. You pay two wealth and gain one mind. One day the king approaches you. Okay, I know where this is going. I've seen this before, and I want you to pay attention, okay? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, miss, but you look like someone who can be confident in... He's uh, confided in, he says. I really want the prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I aren't exactly active in the bedroom. <laughs> he blushes a little. <laughs> Do you have any advice on how I could romance the queen, so to speak? You can either teach the king your ways, <laughs> or admit that you, or admit that you don't know how to help. Fucking teach him the ways. Let's fuck the king. Wait, no, no, no. You're not, <laughs> you're not having sex with the king. You're teaching him. No, in order to teach him the ways, you gotta do it right. You gotta suck his dick. <laughs> You should do that to the- you should suck a dick for the queen, though, to show her how to suck a dick. Uh, uh-uh. You gotta show him somehow. Okay, you spent hours drawing a bunch of diagrams going through scenarios with the king. By the scenarios end of it, he is- physically? By the end of it, he is just as charming as you are. He thanks you and hands you a large stack of coins as a reward. You gain three wealth. Later that night, you get the sinking Fuck feeling- yeah. Later that night, you get the sinking feeling, feeling that you have actually made things worse. Hey. All right. <laughs> uh, Orange dude, you can go to the hospital, slums, gardens, arena, or forest. Uh, right? Let's go to the arena. Arena? Right. Yeah. Would you like to compete in a fight or bet on a fight? Uh, if I pick one, are you going to pick the other one? <laughs> no, that was an accident. Sorry. Uh, we'll compete. Compete? Alright. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. While wandering around the halls between matches, you spot your former lover, Kelly. An awkward exchange... Kelly. <laughs> it's your ex-lover. Uh, hey! An, an awkward ex... 
Wait, she? <laughs> Kelly! <laughs> Kelly got my dick. Mel said, Senpai, teach me. <laughs> <laughs> An awkward exchange happens in which you want to know how you're doing without seeming that you care too much. After a few minutes, John, the most popular fighter in the arena, butts into the conversation. Hey Kelly, sorry to interrupt, but we've got to leave right now if we want to make it to my mother's in time. You say an awkward goodbye as they walk off holding hands. How do you feel? Do you feel happy for Kelly or extremely or extreme jealousy? Happy. You happy for Kelly? Forgetting that John did? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. You feel good that you both have moved on. The encounter, despite its awkwardness, was refreshing. You gain one charm. Yeah, Kelly's yeah. just jelly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was honest in a heartbeat. Or so the stories go. The earth shook, the air went still. Alright. I'm gonna go to the forest with Purple Chick, and I'm gonna hunt. You spent the week hunting defenseless critters, yeah. you gained two finesse and solid power for one while one day you stumbled upon a tall, nicely trimmed hedge in the middle of the woods. You didn't need to like, wonder what exactly what's doing in the woods, we just did this one. Tell you enormous hands, we're gonna dodge it! Try to dodge it, dodging its grasp, but you're not quick enough. It grabs you and pulls you through the thorns of the hedge. You lose one physique. The beast drags you all the way to its lair and chains you up to the wall. It starts peeling layers of your flesh off of you and eating it in front of you. Then he waves his hand, regenerating your bot or your flesh. The cycle occurs for what feels like years. So he was literally peeling skin off of this chick's bodies, force healing her body, and then doing it again. Yep. And she made that's she pretty... made her watch the whole entire time. Yep, and that's pretty hot. Uh, mental torment you undergo oh, is boy. unbearable. You lose three mind. Holy balls. Oh, damn. The constant barrage of healing spells infuses you with raw magic. You gain three magic. One day, the Beast Slayer is attacked by another monster. You take the opportunity to escape. You push through the hedge and back into the forest. Where you finally arrive home, you learn that you've only been gone for a single day. Damn. Alright, well, big burly dude is gonna go drink. <laughs> Spend the entire week oh, getting yeah, wasted. Go get wasting. Alright, gain two charm and one physique. Uh, one day, Fortune Teller has a table she offers you. Uh, no, I'm gonna ignore it this time. The rest of the day, you watch the fortune teller from afar. She showers love, promises, and wealth and stuff like that. You feel like skipping the, skipping out was a good choice. You gain one mind. Mm -hmm. Alright, Red Chick, where, she, where are you going to go? Arena, Alchemy Tower, Gardens, Palace, Hospital, or Slums? We'll go to the Alchemy Tower. Alchemy Tower, alright. Would you like to clean the lab or brew a potion? Brew a potion. Brew a potion, alright. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. Ugh, one mind. One day, all of the alchemists decides to take a break from the work instead of throwing a cantrip party. Uh, one of the alchemists waves his hands and produces confetti in front of him. Another spawns a seemingly endless number of doves from his sleeves. Then all the alchemists turn to you and see what you can come up with. Would you like to perform a simple trick or a complex trick? Simple. Simple, okay. By snapping your fingers, you change your eyebrow color. <laughs> oh yeah! Not bad, one of the alchemists says, you gain one magic. So you literally just change the color of your eyebrows. <laughs> nice. <laughs> God, if I could do that now. <laughs> Alright, orange uh. too. Orange the, dude is. You can do arena, gardens, palace, hospital, slums. Hmm. Let's go fight crime in the slums. You got it, Batman. <laughs> you spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One night, you hear cheering coming from an alleyway. Peering in, you see a crowd of men cheering on dogs, violently ripping each other apart. One of the men spots you and says, Oi, would you like to participate in a little bit of betting, or a little bit of a betting game? Bet on the dogs or try to stop the dog fight. Try to stop the dog fight, I ain't letting no doggies get hurt. 
You try to convince the gamblers to dog, that dog fighting is wrong. Your words fell, fall on deaf ears. Very quickly, they get quite angry with you. One of them walks up to you and pulls out a knife. You don't feel like you've got the strength or speed to match this guy. You run away hoping he won't follow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you just got a knife pulled on you and you didn't fight the, stop the dog fighting. <laughs> Uh, the world was a howling fury, chaos. <laughs>